today we will learn how to create some minimal yet glitchy looking title animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugins. I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and without any further ado, let's get started. Are you guys looking for some amazing After Effects templates to showcase and promote your brand, company or business? If yes, then make sure to check out my video hive page Mean Machine where we make amazing After Effects templates just for you. Check out the link in the description below. Alright, so here we are in After Effects and let's start by creating a new composition. I'll call this title 1920 into 1080 60 FPS. 10 seconds long head ok so let's select the text tool and type in the text that we want to use in this project so I'm going to type in Bruce Strong just like as you saw in the example align this into the center and for the size I'll go with 180 maybe that is a bit too much let's go with 160 ok that looks good make it a sugar pro classic italic that looks good maybe adjust the spacing a bit and align it into the center now if you don't see this align tab you can always go into windows and there you will find it so here we have our first text ready to go now let's select the text tool again and type in our second text which is going to be motion designer in your case it can be anything that you want to type in so doesn't really matter motion designer and for the font I'll go with maybe a light italic that looks good and bring down the size to around 40 should look good yeah that looks great maybe increase the spacing a bit and place it right over here then select the motion design and text and go into effects and presets and type in ramp we will be using this gradient ramp just drag and drop it onto the motion designer text bring this point right over here and bring this one right over here so now we can apply a nice gradient color onto our text so I'm gonna go with nice yellow and orange combination you can go with any color combination that is your favorite that you like make it a bit more brighter yellow or something like that looks good so there we have our text ready to roll now let's select the rectangle tool we don't need any fill for this so select the fill click on none hit ok we just need the stroke of around 10 pixels and then we can create a shape just like so all right go into rectangle one rectangle path one unlink this and then you can adjust the size depending on your text also make sure to align it into the center just like that and everything else is looking great i think then let's go into transform rectangle one property and skew this up by 10 degrees or 10 value of 10 maybe I'll, I'll bring this closer a bit just like so okay this is looking good let's copy the gradient ramp from your control C to copy it and paste it onto our stroke also rename this layer to stroke and I can also adjust the points a bit according to my requirements there we go and the last thing that we need to add is a trim path onto the stroke so let's go into add and add trim paths bring this end property a bit low and adjust the offset maybe around 84 should work i think 85 Yep, that is looking great. So now we have our stroke ready to go. We can adjust this a bit maybe. Okay. Now we can animate our stroke. So let's go to around one second and 30 frames. Create a keyframe on the end property. 
go back to zero and set this to zero. So now we have a pretty simple animation. Also, let's animate our text. So I'll go to around one second, 30 frames again and select the rectangle tool. This time we don't need any strokes. So I'll set this to zero. We just need the fill. Keep it maybe something like a gray and then create a shape for our main text. That is our name. I'm going to rectangle one, rectang transform rectangle one and skew this up by 10 percent or 10 degrees. Not really sure what it's called, but anyways, so here we have our shape, select the shape. Let's call this M for mat. Let's select the mat and drag it out just like that. Create a keyframe, go back in time and drag it just like so. Okay. Then go back again to one second and 30 frames, select our text, hit P, create a keyframe, go back and bring this out just like so. Then let's put our text below the mat and change the track mat to alpha inverted. And now we don't have anything because it's, and now we should have something like this, which looks very, very cool. A really nice text reveal same thing I'm gonna do with the upper text so let's select the mat again hit control D to duplicate it let's turn this on hit U and get rid of the keyframes hit U two times to reveal all the properties unlink this and just play around with the size a bit place it right over here and I'm gonna place it somewhere around there Select it, hit P to bring down the position properties. Create a keyframe, go back in time and let's pull this up just like that. Then go back to one second and 30 frames, select the text, hit P, create a keyframe, go back and pull this just like that. And pull this back just like so maybe so now we have something like that let's put the text below our mat and change the track mat to alpha inverted mat so now we have this really nice text reveal now if you don't see the track mat option you can hit f4 on the keyboard and that should make it visible let's hit ctrl a to select them all and hit u to just close them all up and now I can move the stroke a bit forward in time to maybe around one second. Actually, let's go to 30 frames should be good. And that is looking good. Let's select all the keyframes, hit U. Select all the keyframes, hit F9 to ease, ease those keyframes. Go into the graph editor. And if your graph editor is not looking like this, don't panic. Just right click and select edit speed graph. Select all the points from the right and drag the handle to the left just like so and now we should have a very nice animation as you can see pretty cool maybe i'll just bring the stroke to around 20 frames okay so that is looking pretty sweet so we have our text animation ready. Now it's time to create those really cool looking glitches, which are very simple and easy to create. So let's create a new composition called this G underscore O one for glitch O one. Hit OK. Let's create a new adjustment layer Call this. I'll call this transform. Select it, go into fix and preset and type in transform. drag and drop it increase the transform scale to around 130 then let's create a new solid call this f for fractal noise you can of course type in the complete fractal noise text if you want to anyways i'll select the text go into effects and preset type in fractal noise just drag and drop it onto our solid and now we have some really cool stuff going on so firstly, let's change the noise type from soft linear to block. Then increase the contrast all the way up to 1000 and bring down the brightness all the way 
down to 500 minus 500 i mean you can bring down the complexity down to 2 go into the transform properties and you can also play around with the transform if you want to but i'll keep it somewhere around there and that is looking good let's change the blending mode to add select the fractal noise and hit ctrl d to create a duplicate of this then i can tweak the contrast a little bit so i'll bring this down to 900 for the brightness i'll bring this down to minus 400 and in the transform properties i can unlink the uniform scaling scale this scale with really high just like so also play around with the scale height if you want to so you can keep it something like this like that works good you can also add some complexity if you want to so that is looking great and here we have our first glitch ready to go let's select the g underscore o one hit control d to duplicate it now this time in the glitch 2 i will be creating more bigger glitches so that we have some dense small you know detailed glitch as well as some big transform glitches so this one i'm gonna bring down the brightness to actually bring up the brightness to 150 so we have something like this you can go into the transform properties and unlink this play around with the scaling a bit so let's bring this up really high maybe 500 by 500 something like that let's actually bring this up to 700 because i want really big choppy chunks of this 600 that is looking good you can play around with the complexity but i'm gonna keep it very low this time and then i can give some offset to our turbulence so i get some really different looking effects here so i can create a keyframe on the offset turbulence go all the way up to 10 seconds and give it a little bit of offset just like that so now we have a little bit of offset going on maybe a bit more so we have something increase this a bit so we have a little bit of offset going on maybe a bit more now we have something like this okay that is looking good maybe bring down the complexity to one all right that is looking great so now we have our glitches ready let's go into the title comp actually let's create a new composition call this main hit ok drag the title composition and drag the glitch one and two as well one thing that i forgot to mention is that you need to go into the glitch composition change the track mat of the transform to luma mat same thing i'm going to do with the glitch 2 as well change the transform to luma matte now when i go into my main composition you see we have nothing but if i turn on the collapse transformation we have some really cool looking glitches going on right over here you see looks very interesting so we now we need to just play around with the glitches first thing that we need to do is crop the glitch composition or the or the layer so i'll hit shift page down to jump 10 frames forward in time select both the layers hold alt and close square bracket to crop them up and then i can start adjusting them so firstly i'll start with the bigger glitch so i'll go right here where our text is just starting to get animate and let's place it into a nice position something like this so you can see we get this really cool effect then place a second one just behind that and try to place it in a way that it looks really complex so i'll place it maybe something like that you can also hit s and scale it down or make it bigger depending on your requirements again i can select the glitch 2 hit ctrl d to create a copy put this back 
and then change the position something like that select this one hit ctrl d put this right over here and just play around with the positioning that looks good and you see we have this really nice looking glitches very easy to create so now to make it more and more complex you can anytime jump into this turn this on go into fractal and adjust it according to your requirements so i can change this maybe really bright and nice play around a bit with the size go back in the main comp oh make sure you turn that off go back into the main comp and you can see we get some really nice detailed glitches it is less like a glitch but more of an offset actually so i can create a duplicate let's go right here and i can place it maybe something like so Control d place it right over here And right here now this is very abstract you don't need to be very precise you can just you know play around with the stuff to get a desired look scale this you know play around with the settings and let's see how and let's see how it looks now so as you can see it's looking very cool maybe I'll bring this down a bit closer so yeah as you can see it's looking very interesting and you can create this effect using just the fractal noise you can play around with the fractal noise make it look more complex if you want to and the last thing that we can do is add some glow to this so i'll create a new adjustment layer call this glow also hit ctrl y to create a new solid because our bg is transparent so i'll make it black put this below and onto our adjustment layer add some glow so i'll select it go to effects and preset and type in glow drag and drop that one again increase the threshold all the way up to 100 and increase the radius a lot just like that and change the glow colors from original colors to ab colors and then you can give them the colors you like so i'm going to keep it a nice yellow color and for this one i'll keep a nice orange color and there we go there we have a nice glitch title animation inside of after effects now if you want to create that that nice floor with reflection then that is a technique made by developed by andrew kramer i'll mention the link to his tutorial down below he's an absolutely great guy and if you use after effects you definitely know him so yeah that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then make sure to subscribe comment and like and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay raw stay creative